You know, we often hear about the healthcare heroes working to save the lives of those stricken with the coronavirus, but it is rare that we actually get to see where those patients are being treated. Well, now Parkland Hospital in Dallas is giving us a look inside. Here's our Jack Fink. So when you walk into that space, you can hear a lot of alarms, you can hear a lot of bells. Welcome to one of Parkland Hospital's units treating patients with COVID-19. Where aside from the sounds, another telltale sign you're here is the sea green colored scrubs worn by the healthcare heroes treating them. So at this point in time, all the COVID units are bursting at the seams and we're trying to find other ways that we can accommodate more volume in the organization. They've got four fully converted COVID units and a fifth is half full. But Samantha Raleigh, the senior VP of surgical services over many of these units and a registered nurse herself will tell you their biggest concern is not space. Um, are we going to have enough doctors? Are we going to have enough nurses? Are we going to have enough folks that can actually make sure we provide them the highest level of support that they deserve? The patients keep coming. So you're seeing those workers get tired. You're seeing them, um, you know, we have to constantly ask them every single day if they can work more and can they help us more and what else do they have to give, which requires them to be away from their families. And then there's the emotional toll of just being in this environment and watching patients' families feel the brunt too. There's only so many times you can hear people wailing from the halls. Um, so definitely folks on any given day are emotional the entire time they're here, whether they're in the unit themselves or whether they're walking off the floor. Um, you're giving it your all to save a life and um, sometimes we don't win. And that is, I mean, it's devastating. And you have the families that are on the Zoom machines. You have the families that are present at the bedside. You have families that have little kids. Um, we have women that had babies two weeks ago that don't survive getting the disease postpartum. So how do they get through this? What keeps them going? Encouraging notes from doctors and nurses in other units and from patients, their families, and the community, all cheering them on. And they call it the wall of love. We have them in multiple areas so that people can see all the positivity coming out of it and a reminder for all the hard work they do. Um, that has been an amazing gift for the team. At Parkland Hospital, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.